We all know Egypt for its pyramids and pharaohs, but a far greater mystery lies buried beneath the desert sands, one with the power to shake the very foundations of our known history. It's what's interesting to me about these is, is that they, they, they're some of the earliest types of uh, artifacts that we find. Thousands of flawless stone vases carved from hard stones like granite and diorite. They are so perfect that crafting them with the technology of that era was nearly impossible. So this is an example and these vases display just astonishing aspects of precision and engineering. For centuries, archeologists have searched for an explanation, but when every conventional theory failed, they brought in a new tool, AI. And the AI uncovered a truth so profound, it has the potential to change everything we thought we knew about the ancient world. Beneath the desert dunes and the ruins of collapsed temples lie the remnants of civilizations long past. For more than a century, archaeologists have been piecing together this forgotten world from broken walls, shattered inscriptions, and weathered artifacts. Among these ruins, however, one category of objects has consistently stood out as a profound puzzle, the stone vases of ancient Egypt. At first glance, they might seem like ordinary vessels, but closer inspection reveals they defy every expectation. These are not simple clay pots. They are carved from some of the hardest stones on Earth, including rose granite, diorite, and even quartz. These are materials that today require diamond-tipped saws and industrial machinery to cut and shape. Yet, thousands of years ago, in an era supposedly limited to stone chisels and copper tools, entire vases were fashioned from them. The mystery deepens when one of these vessels is held to the light. Their walls are impossibly thin, sometimes just a few millimeters thick, yet they maintain perfect structural integrity, allowing light to shine through the stone as if it were glass. Their curvature is flawless, their symmetry so perfect they could be mistaken for objects produced on a modern lathe. They are balanced and geometrically consistent in a way that primitive handiwork should not be able to achieve. Mainstream archaeology has long proposed that these vessels were made with simple pounding stones, chisels, and abrasive sand, suggesting that craftsmen laboriously ground down blocks of stone. This explanation is disputed by some engineers and enthusiasts. The level of precision found in these objects isn't just difficult to achieve by hand, it is extremely difficult to achieve with hand methods proposed for the period. When modern machinists and engineers examine the measurements, they don't see primitive art. They see tolerances and alignments that belong in the realm of aerospace engineering. If the story ended here, the vases would remain a curiosity, a puzzle confined to academic papers. But in the 21st century, a new tool emerged, artificial intelligence. With its ability to process vast amounts of data and detect hidden patterns, AI offered a new possibility for solving the riddle. When it was finally tasked with analyzing these vases, the discoveries that followed would shake the very foundations of our understanding of human history. Archaeologists trace the origins of these sophisticated vases far beyond the famous dynasties of Egypt. They don't belong to the age of the pyramids or the era of Ramses and Tutankhamun. Their story begins in the pre-dynastic period, dating back more than 14,000 years, a time before writing, before kings, and before the Egypt we know even existed. The sheer number of these vessels is staggering. Beneath the Steppe Pyramid at Saqqara alone, over 40,000 were reportedly discovered in hidden chambers. While no two were identical, they all displayed a level of craftsmanship that seemed to belong to another world. Their designs were sleek and symmetrical, engineered to a standard of precision expected from machines, not from hand tools. Many were carved from exotic stones transported from quarries hundreds of miles away, materials so hard they remain a challenge to work with even today. Later, dynastic Egyptians attempted to replicate these vases, producing imitations in softer materials like alabaster. The difference is unmistakable. These copies were thicker, cruder, and unbalanced. Where the originals were mathematical marvels, the imitations were rough approximations. This contrast raises a critical question. 
If the dynastic Egyptians were inheritors of the culture that created the original vases, why did they fail so completely to replicate their precision? The logical conclusion is that they inherited these objects from a predecessor culture whose technology and knowledge had been lost. These artifacts were out of place, out of sequence, and out of time. In a modern laboratory, a team of scientists undertook an experiment that would fundamentally alter how these ancient artifacts are viewed. Their subject was a privately owned pre-dynastic rose granite vase, an object known for its impossibly precise construction. Using structured light scanning, a technique that captures an object's surface with extraordinary fidelity, the researchers created a complete digital twin of the vase. The scan's accuracy was less than half the width of a human hair, revealing details invisible to the naked eye. This digital model was then handed over to metrologists, experts in precision measurement, who typically inspect components like jet engine turbine blades, where minuscule errors can have catastrophic consequences. The team began analyzing the 3D model with coordinate measuring systems, expecting to find the subtle irregularities and tool marks characteristic of handmade objects. Instead, the data that emerged was stunning. The lip of the vase was almost perfectly flat, deviating by only 0.003 inches. For perspective, that margin is finer than what many modern industrial machines can achieve. The cylindrical neck was aligned with the lip to within 0.001 inches, a level of exactness that would challenge even aerospace manufacturers working with dense stone. The main body of the vase was so close to a perfect sphere that its deviation measured less than the thickness of a sheet of paper. The metrologists were confronted with data that pointed not to craftsmanship, but to engineering. The vase bore all the hallmarks of industrial manufacturing, typically associated with computer-guided tools. To attribute such precision to pounding stones and copper chisels, as the conventional explanation insisted, now seemed entirely implausible. The deeper the team delved, the more impossible the vase's geometry became. The investigation then turned to the vase's most puzzling feature, its lug handles. For centuries, it was argued that while a symmetrical vessel might be achievable on a primitive lathe, adding protruding handles would make the process impossible. A lathe requires continuous rotation, and any appendage extending from the side would disrupt the balance and ruin the object. Yet, the flawless surface and symmetry of this vase persisted perfectly between the handles. This paradox left only two staggering possibilities. First, the creators possessed a method of tool alignment superior to modern aerospace engineering. Or second, the vase was carved in a single pass process, equivalent to a five-axis computer-controlled milling machine, a technology designed to sculpt complex geometries without interruption. Either conclusion pointed to the existence of advanced machine technology in a period it was not supposed to exist. As news of the findings spread, cryptographers and mathematicians joined the project, applying AI algorithms to analyze the vase's structure. They searched for recurring proportions, ratios, and geometrical relationships. And what they found was astonishing. Hidden within the curves and angles were principles of sacred geometry. Proportional relationships consistent with the golden ratio are claimed in some analyses of the vase's proportions. The value of pi was embedded in its circular forms. Even the smallest curves, some with radii just over a millimeter, were found to conform to precise mathematical formulas. This was not accidental, it was deliberate mathematical design. These objects were not just containers, they were blueprints encoded with the mathematics of the universe. The evidence was pointing toward a radical conclusion. This vase was not just a relic, but a technological enigma. Its form carried an unmistakable signature of being conceived mathematically and executed by a machine capable of translating abstract equations into a flawless physical object. As one metrologist explained, no human hands can take equations as input and output lathe operations. Only a computer can. Some interpret this to imply computationally guided manufacture. Others argue that advanced manual or jig-based methods could also explain the data. If this was true, what was the purpose of creating such objects? Why embed them with universal constants like pi and the golden ratio? An engineer on the project drew a compelling analogy to the golden record carried aboard the Voyager probes, a disk inscribed with sounds, images, and mathematics. 
launched into space as a message to unknown civilizations. Perhaps the vases served a similar function. They were not designed merely to store grain or oil, but to communicate a message across time. Their precision and embedded mathematics were the message itself, a demonstration of their creator's mastery of universal principles that any advanced intelligence could recognize. They foresaw that their world would vanish, but understood that objects of stone and geometry could endure. These vases were time capsules, transmitting the intellectual achievements of a lost civilization across the gulf of millennia. This investigation, which began over a century ago, reached its climax when AI decoded the vases' true nature. For generations, they were dismissed as ceremonial curiosities. Now they stand as evidence of a forgotten technological peak. Their message revealed only when our own science had advanced enough to listen. The past, once thought silent, has spoken, suggesting that human civilization may be far older and more cyclical than we ever imagined. The story of humanity is not a linear climb, but one of rises and falls, of brilliance achieved and forgotten. The past is no longer silent. It speaks through stone, 